Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So let's talk about Rick Grimes because we finally, after about two years of like no story-based information, actually have some information on where he went. And this isn't like confirmed, but I think it's like practically confirmed because we learned some specific details about the CRM, specific things where Rick most likely would have went because it, it makes sense that like he would have went there. I'm being very vague right now because I still have to give a spoiler warning, but we'll talk about that in a second. But we now know for the most part, at least we have a very good understanding of where Rick went, what he most likely was assigned to do right away, and what life has been like for him for the last six years, at least like in the beginning, because obviously things could have changed, certain things could have happened where maybe he wasn't doing this for that long because of something that would happen in the movie. And so at, th at this point in the timeline, things could be very different, right? So before we go any further, I do have to warn you for spoilers for The Walking Dead World Beyond. Beyond episode three. If you haven't checked that out yet, I, I just, yeah, this will contain spoilers for that. I also posted my reviews for Fear the Walking Dead season six, episode two and World Beyond episode three. So if you haven't seen those yet, make sure to go, well, after this anyways, if you want to check out my reviews for that, they're just on the channel. And I guess I should say, if you are new here, and you want walking to content like this, just make sure to be a subscriber because things are only ramping up. I thought that as soon as the finale was going to end, there would be some exciting things. And we'll talk about Fear the Walking Dead. We'll, we'll talk about World Beyond. I'll obviously review them, but I just, I imagine that things would be kind of quiet for a little bit, but no, not at all. Fear the Walking Dead is getting really good and World Beyond had a pretty great episode tonight and hinted at a lot of stuff for the Rick Grimes movies. And so this is just, it's very exciting. And I actually, this is that one aspect to World Beyond that is just always going to keep me glued to it. Like I have to finish the series because of how much information and backstory they are giving us like for this Rick movie. So if you want all my walk Dead content on all of that, just make sure to be a subscriber. So we now know for sure the location of where Rick Grimes went. They have kind of teased it before, but not really. I mean, like now we actually know because of the dialogue said here, we know more specifically, and that is Rick Grimes after he shot that dynamite and the bridge exploded, he went into the that river or whatever and he was taken away and then he ended up on shore literally fighting for his life and then Jadis found him called the helicopter and then well the helicopter was already coming but it picked up Jadis and Rick they went in a helicopter and then took off and everyone since then has been wondering what happened to him well he went to the CRM health and welfare center most likely it seems like people that are hurt or that are mentally not able to be a part of the CRM or do their do their job and like their duty and stuff like that they have to go to this place here because we learned in tonight's episode of The Walking Dead World Beyond that over 200,000 people live here, which is exciting because Rick is one of them. The CRM Health and Welfare Center seems to be a place where people go. It's like a hospital basically, but it's also more of like a psych ward too. Like if there's something wrong with you, this and that, they might, I guess it's like brainwashing people kind of. I guess that's probably what they try to do, which I can't imagine them. I mean, they're probably going to try. I, I don't know if they'll succeed, but they might try to brainwash Rick, which would be kind of, uh, <laughs> I don't know how that would go down, but this is most likely where Rick went because the thing is Rick was in really bad shape, but he wasn't in the worst of shape. Like, like you, you can easily, like you can revive him obviously, right? Especially because the CRM, just like Elizabeth Kublik said in tonight's episode, they have energy, water, medicine, transport, uh, culture, she was saying, currency, agriculture, they, they have everything. And we saw that she powered on her TV and just like everything else in her kitchen, everything, the fan, the ceiling fan there was a helicopter that flew by and that was probably very similar to how Rick arrived. Like Elizabeth Kublik was probably in her apartment or something like that, heard a helicopter fly by and that was Rick that flew by, right? People were just in their apartments. So we're going to talk about the apartment thing right away because that was obviously a, a very exciting element to, I guess, all of this and the CRM and all that. Now, I don't know how long Rick will be held in this place because obviously that is the first place we're going to see. I don't know how this movie is going to start, but I think roughly it's going to pick up with like, because you kind of have to let people know what happened and i think we're going to see things with like the helicopter landing arriving at this place rick's probably going to be so like dazed and confused and then they'll rush him into the crm 
health and welfare center, and then I think he'll black out, and he might wake up similar to how he does in the in the TV show, but he's in a whole new place now, right? It's, it's not like the world is dead. The world is alive now, and like, wait, what? They'll probably go through that, and then obviously Jadis will be there, and then they'll deal with some A and B stuff, and then I don't know what will happen to Jadis, and then we'll just see where the plot goes from that point, but that seems to be roughly the opening minutes, I would say, of this first movie. Jadis most likely brought him there, and that's what's kind of exciting about all of this, is the fact that Jadis knows of all of this. Jadis has been here before, and that just makes me question a lot of things behind why Jadis was at the scavenger base. Why live out there? Like, why do that? Were you keeping an eye on Alexandria? And stuff like that. Like, why were you over there? Which will probably be things that we do learn in that movie, right? Which is very exciting, obviously. Elizabeth Kublik also told that soldier that he will work, like, after that he's done what, what, at the Health and Welfare Center, he will work in a labor-focused position or something like that. Which I'm thinking this is probably what Rick will be forced to do. I don't think Rick is going to be any kind of, of leader and working in the military and things like that. He's not going to do something like that because that's just not who he is. He's not going to stay here and, and do something that's very wrong. I mean, he would. Like, Rick will do anything to survive. Like, he will. It seems like, like he really just cares about survival, and he's willing to lose himself to survive. Like, we've seen him do that so much throughout the, the series, but I think there's certain things there where I don't think they're going to do that with the character. I think he'll, depending on what the A and B stuff are and how that turns out, I think Rick will either be forced to go in a labor focused position or something like that and then yeah we'll see what happens from there again elizabeth kublik mentioned that there's 200,000 people living here and so you know that is a lot of people and when you look at the window she's living in an apartment like in an apartment that's completely cleaned out and the helicopter's flying by i think this is actually a section of the city that is just i mean it's probably not even just a section of the city it's it's a huge portion of of the city that is barricaded from everything and there's no walkers in any of these walls. They have soldiers everywhere. This is a very, very safe place. If you're here, you're not going to get attacked by a walker. You probably won't see any, but they have very, very strict rules, like very strict rules. All of this is going to be such a huge shock to Rick when, when he arrives there and when he wakes up in, in the CRM Health and Welfare Center. He's going to see all this. He's going to be stunned to his core. Like just the idea that all of this has been here for so long like all of this has been there since the beginning of the apocalypse and they had to struggle on the road for however long but all of this was here like he's probably gonna want to bring his family but then again i think when he learns of their motives and all that he won't want to and i think that's where that's where i'm really interested in what they're gonna do there because i think rick will see that this is something special. If there's the right person in charge, or if we can, you know, somehow fix this situation, then everyone can be cured. And and that's the thing, they are trying to find a cure. That's what they're doing. That's literally the purpose of why Hope and Iris are out there to find their father, is because their father is at the CRM base or whatever, and he's trying to help them find a cure. And obviously, some things have went wrong. I don't know exactly what they mean by that. But yeah, we're starting to learn some pretty big secrets here. There's a lot of reveals. And just with how much we learned in this episode, I'm not going to be that surprised if by the end of the second season, we literally get a Rick Grimes name drop. Like, this show is only going to be two seasons long. We could get something this season at the very end, like, something about some man who did this or something and that could be rick right but we'll we'll never know but for sure in the second season like for sure there could be something tied to some character that rick was responsible for doing this or did this or taught someone this or just, there's going to be something i am sure that name is going to come up because the purpose of world beyond is to explain all this stuff we're three episodes in now and we we know a lot of information i can't imagine what it's going to be like to watch the next 17 episodes i'm sure some of them are just going to be focused on like the, the the main characters and stuff but we're going to get a lot of information like this so as of now we know that rick is likely in like one of two places at least for the most part in the beginning of the movie which is these apartments he could be kept in like jadis's apartment I guess it could be where he stays, to be honest. He could stay with Jadis, 
or to the CRM Health and Welfare Center, which is probably, I mean, he could go there and then go to an apartment. I think that would be weird if Jadis had an apartment, which I imagine that she does because she seems to be a little more, she's up there in ranking, you know, to, to have Rick just like sitting on the couch or having coffee or something like that, looking out the window and seeing all this, just like, wait, like how... How is this all all here? And just how bad he's going to want to go see Michonne and his daughter Judith, right? And then, but he just can't. Like, they won't let him leave. There is no way he can leave. Otherwise, he'll die. And there's no way to get out. Because he might have a hard time trying to escape. Like, first of all, he's farther away. And, you know, like, we don't know everything about the CRM. I, I think a lot of things make sense. I think there's there's really legit reasons why Rick can't leave. And Jadis could be one of them. You know, Jadis is kind of on our side. But who knows? She might not be. She might just be looking out for herself. Because we've seen her do that so many times. Yes, she saved Rick. But she kind of saved him to save herself in a way. So not really, obviously, like she did have the I can't remember if, if Rick was the A and then she said she had a B or if it was vice versa. Obviously, she lied in doing that. And she was like, and the, that guy was like, are you trying to pull something or whatever? But so there is an element to Jadis where she was actually trying to help Rick out because obviously she cares about him in some way. It's just we know her past. We've seen the things that she has done. And now when you see all of this, it's it's just so surprising to me that Jadis knew that all of this existed, but didn't say anything. And even her relationship with Gabriel and all that, and the stuff we've seen her go through with him in season nine, like she knew about all of this, never told him like nothing. It's going to be really interesting now rewatching season seven and eight and seeing Jadis and seeing how everything fits together, just what she knows and, and all of that. Cause yeah, I mean this episode, the hype for the Rick Grimes movie is, is real now. This has just renewed my excitement. I think I've watched the scene about, I don't know, five, 10 times already. I'll probably watch it a lot more. So yeah, we got some crucial information here. This is most likely where Rick went. He was badly wounded. They were, they are going to bring him to the CRM health and welfare center to get him better. And then from there, they'll focus on, on whatever, right? So yeah, post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Make sure to be a subscriber if you want more walking to content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.